What is going on guys? Alan here back with another video for you. Real quick uh, little improvement on the uh, old F-250 here. You might have seen it in my previous video. Uh, I got an issue. A couple issues. I fixed the dome light. There's a relay. But the bench seat. Um, it's definitely seen better days. It's leather which means it's cold right now. Um, you know nice for cleanup but there's no armrest and I like to be comfortable when I drive and when I drive this I drive an hour away to get wood um, and then the cup holders these these things suck um, and this is what I mean alright guys so um, these are the cup holders I'm talking about you pull them out here and they're only for soft cups which really sucks I know the later gens added bottoms and made this a little bit bigger so you could sit your can in there or something but like this doesn't hold anything you know what I mean Just... what the heck man I mean what's a guy to do so you know there's no armrest so you're driving down the road you want to be comfortable and then you lean you know you, want, you naturally want to lean on an armrest nowadays and it just doesn't work out very well and these are the cup holders I mean they really suck so what we're gonna do today is uh, uninstall this ancient um, not mint anymore seat and then put in the seat that I uh, picked up from the junkyard which is a 60-40 split and it's cloth let's check it out there she is gray um, actually in a really nice shape to be honest with you so you got your little cup holder here um, you know there, there are uh, there are options out there with a bigger armrest on the inside and dual cup holders but I couldn't find one at my local junkyard but um, this is what is it gonna go in there uh, different bolt pattern but they should bolt up um, because this is a split bench it's got more bolts so um, there should already be spots in that cab for these let's dig in all right y'all making progress here old seat is out save the receipt I don't know what it is. Oh. It's for my entry into the junkyard. Alright, so that one was used with our Oh my god, I'm losing all my stuff now. <laughs> like I was saying here. Um this is where the stock bolt went in. Uh the new seats, there ain't a stud here. Those were um Torx bit as well. So but I'm thinking the seat will still sit right on top of that and then those ones will get used so this is the plug that they use um, when they're not using a uh, you're not using the captain's chair so I'm gonna go first before I pull that out of there that grommet I'm gonna set the new seat in here just to make sure it lines up all right so I'll show you this real quick um, these are the ones from the f-150 they are taller and not the same bolt pattern um, but they are very much interchangeable so I took the two off of the stock seat put them on here and they are the exact bolt pattern that I need so problem number one is I only have two sets of these so I'm gonna have to go back to the junkyard I think and get at least one yeah probably two I don't know for the bench seat we'll see update y'all so i took the grommet out there and that was a hole drilled hole but it was not tapped um so i tapped it and she's good to go now and then the uh seat belt connector wasn't the same so i just cut the one off the old one spliced it into the new seat should be good to go all right so this seat is officially in um and working as it should you know it uh got her bolted up to the front here same thing with the back 
Uh, then I got the seat belt plugged in. I'm gonna be done for today, but uh, I'm gonna set the passenger side seat in there just to see how bad it's it's gonna be. And I know I'm gonna need at least the one rail um, because these rails aren't long enough to just drill my own hole. I don't think I'll have to. Maybe I'll take it off the seat and. Well, I already got one. I can I can see right here. So she sits in there like that. But you know, yeah, there's there's no room. There's no room there. Um, structurally, to be able to put that guy in there. So yeah, I'm gonna need. That's a bummer. Gonna need another rail, but anyway, I'm gonna. At least just set the seat in here, see what she looks like. All right, guys, so this seat um, requires me to drill two holes to bolt down the um, bench seat in the middle. Uh, now, you can do this a couple different ways. You can drill a hole and then put a bolt through and a nut and secure it that way. Or um, I have a new tool, and I absolutely love this thing, and I didn't know it existed until I actually just saw an ad on Instagram for it. And uh, I normally don't go for stuff like that, um, but I'm about to use this for the first time. It is from Amjoy Tools, um, and it is a rivet tool. So what you do, so the bolts for the seat are M10s. So I have a package of M10s here, M10s here, um, and then you just drill a hole for the rivet. Uh, it gives you a nice little guide of what size hole and everything. And then you put this rivet down there and uh, compress it in. And then you can throw your bolt right through it. So let's try this out. All right, let's drill the hole. All right, that's fun. There we go. Uh, not quite. I think this one calls for a 14 millimeter and all I got is a half inch, so. We'll make it work. Oh, so close. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, hopefully we can get this thing down here now. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to move your belt. There, there. So, get her all the way down there. Squeeze it together. And unscrew this. And there it is. See? There it is. Now, now the M10 screw right in. So now I gotta do that up front here, and then we'll be good. And there you guys have it. Seats are in. Everything is bolted down securely and safely. So this is going to be a huge difference. Cup holder, armrest. Big time cloth for me. It's gonna be more comfortable than that, uh, than that, you know, perfectly mint Alcantara knot seat so um yeah totally totally worth it um yeah so hopefully you guys see how easy it is um if you got an old jalopy hoopty like this and uh you want to tackle it it's actually not that bad you just need the right tools and a junkyard and 50 bucks later you're golden
All right, guys. Um, if you want info on this um, rivet tool, I will leave the link down in the description below, guys. Uh, hopefully, this video helped you guys out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I have noticed that most of my viewers are like 96% not subscribed. So if you like the content, guys, subscribe. I got some awesome stuff coming out every week. And until we meet again, later.